So we are leaving for Transcordilleras this week. It is an eight day gravel stage race in Colombia. We do stay in hotels every night, so it's more of like a point to point gravel stage race. So here's what I'm packing for those eight days. Um, to start, we have the my flat kit, which sits inside of my Envy, Envy Mog in-frame storage. So a couple of tubes, tire lever, Dyna plug. We have multi-tool. Um, moving on from there for some other common bike issues that we might have, we have chain lube, a couple of options for sealant, some super glue, um, other sorts of like patch things, Dyna plugs, valve thingies, duct tape. Um, so we also have a water filter. The nice thing since Zach and I are doing the co-ed category is that we can also split some of this stuff up. So that would be an example where we're just gonna bring one water filter shared between the two of us. Of course we have my passport along with some cash. Uh, one thing I was not really willing to part with is having some decent coffee. Um, I know that Columbia is famous for coffee, but it I just want to make sure that I have exactly what I want in the morning. The storage is a little bit smaller, so I am opting to run a pack. I have a laser helmet and some sunglasses. Um, for clothing, we're kind of generally opting to think about the coolest weather. We're going to end up in some high mountain areas, but then also some very hot areas. So I have a Pearl Zumi vest, this super lightweight, very packable jacket. Of course, my Shimano RX-8 gravel shoes. I do have a headband and a neck gaiter and some long fingered gloves, arm warmers. And then for kits, um, I'm worried about stuff drying out. So I'm opting for three pairs of bibs and two jerseys. Um, especially because I know that things won't get crazy clean. I just want to make sure that things can properly dry out. We got some socks to match, sports bras. I do have a knife. Um, I have some zero shoes that are super lightweight, packable, um, a little nerdy, but I think that they'll do the job. I have some Envy shorts and a pair of very lightweight Prana pants, uh, pajamas, a uh, swimsuit, we have a warm first endurance Patagonia jacket for the cooler nights. Uh, I have two different shirt options. I'm definitely somebody that has to go to bed with clean feet and clean teeth, so I have uh, packed for that. I have those little toothpaste tabs and dental floss all um, pre-cut, super lightweight. And then for the rest of my toiletries, we just have some general like Neosporin ointment, a razor, a tiny bit of face lotion, earplugs, a toothbrush, and some chapstick. And then I have some deodorant. Um, these are actually like a little lotion bar and some um, shampoo conditioner sort of situation because let's be honest, there's not a lot of women that have completed this route and I have a lot of hair. And we're now into our pharmacy section. Um, so we have some Tums, ibuprofen, um, two different types of allergy pills. I just don't, I have a lot of like spring allergies, so I just don't really know what it's going to be like there. And then this giant bag is my first endurance smorgasbord. Uh, so we have Halo, which is really great for inflammation, which we know that we're going to be crazy inflamed from all this riding, some Optogen, Optogen HP and the first endurance multivitamin. And then for really shitty situations, we have our poop drugs. <laughs> so um, yeah, like the prescription emergency stuff, some Imodium, and hopefully we won't have to use these, but. So normally we would run first endurance electrolyte. They have a new high carb mix that's super awesome. And we're gonna bring that for our start bottles the first day. Um, but it's just not practical to carry what we would need for the whole trip. So we do have some supplemental salt stick, uh, fast shoes that should kind of get us through the rest. And then a bottle of sunscreen to share. And then the chamois butter ultra is super nice, especially because we could be encountering some rain. And it's kind of a thicker, almost um, like a Vaseline-like texture. 
So it looks like a lot of stuff. Um, actually about 95% of this will go on my bike. Zach is carrying a couple of these items. Um, that's just because we're splitting up some of our stuff. So let's see how it all fits. All right, we're all packed. So that means it's time to unpack and pack the back picture. We'll be sharing what we can throughout the eight day stages. You can follow us along on our personal Instagrams, uh, Bike Sports Co. or over on the Transport 